The greatest thing I ever did was to call out to Mary when all the women in my life were killed in one instant. As I looked up to heaven and cried, now you have to be my mom. I remembered how Jesus looked down from his high cross and suffering with me, shared with me his mother. I am a happy priest today and I owe it to the gift of Mary. I never could have imagined that the words the Lord gave me for my beloved Leah's book would actually come true. And if I take something good from you, it is to give you something better. But he did. He did. When I met Anna, I knew she was the one. But marriage opened a can of writhing worms, and Anna's decision to take her faith more seriously became my own personal challenge. Christianity was just a little too simple and obvious. I was determined to undermine her efforts, and I delved into everything we now call New Age teachings. The aftermath of my spiritual dabbling was a depression of such unimaginable depths that I believed I'd never recover. Then I heard God speak. Michael, if I get this woman up and make her walk, will you enter the seminary? In five seconds, the unbelievable happened. God broke me. We couldn't see that God was all we needed until God was all we had. I'm an ex-convict. I spent 18 of the last 25 years in prison. My charges consisted of murder, attempted murder in the first degree, atrocious assault and battery, attempted murder of a police officer, armed robbery, and escape. The emergency team shocked me three times with paddles, trying to bring me back to consciousness. But nothing worked. I was clinically dead, brain dead. They were attempting to stabilize my body so they could harvest my organs. This is where human words fail in describing what was happening to me. I went from observing the scene, to passing through to the other side of it, to blackness, nothingness. Then there was light. Intuitively, I understood that I was in the presence of God. <laughs>